Basically, the CCNA has been launched in 2013, 14, I guess, 14, yeah. And it's for a five time period, five years, yeah. How, how, how do you see the outcome of the CCNA in, in the coming years? And how do you see CCNA in uh, when basically the five years ends up? Um, will, you, will it continue? And how will the results that will be gathered from uh, the different research groups will be um, translated into the public? And how do you see the future of CCNA after these five years? The goals of CCNA are to set up an infrastructure and to create teams, but also to uh, achieve research goals. We want to cure Alzheimer's disease. We want to make progress in understanding the disease and developing new therapies. We want to develop programs and demonstrate research programs that aid the caregivers and establish which is the best system to deliver uh, dementia care, uh, Ontario versus Quebec versus New Brunswick, ways to deliver care to, to rural populations and to uh, to, to indigenous populations in Canada. It's, it's a very lofty and ambitious goal, which five years is not going to be sufficient to get us. We'll have some deliverables at the end of five years, but the, we also have middle and long range goals, which are very ambitious. So we're not going to be done in five years. In fact, we're going to be well on our way. But fortunately, the Minister of Finance actually committed long term funding of CCMA. Uh, in its uh, 2014 budget. And so we're hopeful that there'll be a phase two which continues us because the, the questions we're trying to answer will we will not have all the answers from the 2018, which is going to be in New York. But the energy that has been begun and with the, the teams that have been created are going to really start having uh, results within the, the next coming years. We're trying things, for example, there's a team. The cognitive stimulation, whether that can slow the progression of mild cognitive impairment, whether exercise can, combined with certain uh, vitamins can improve cognitive behavior and very mild memory loss. So these studies are underway, but we need more time to complete them. As we, we get new knowledge, we are meeting with policy makers, we're meeting with the Alzheimer's Society and using a, a very active knowledge translation group to communicate these new findings to the public, to policy makers, and to the research community. So KT, or the knowledge translation, is a very important part of what we're doing. So we're going to have some results to show as we have it moving in the next 12 months. I think the real answers to these really crucial important questions and the contribution that can be made by Canadian researchers is only going to emerge over the longer period of time. Okay. Thank you.